Major Slack videos. We can start pu pushing towards it's right here. That's the graveyard. We're gonna go down this way. Feel it. That hurt. <laughs> These zombies have a way of just popping out of nowhere. Watch out for the crawlers too. Farm a few brains in here. <laughs> uh oh. Let me get puke lock. Don't you puke lock me. Here we go. Lots of brains here. Hey, boys. Now try not to lose your head over this. <laughs> okay, nine more. There's a certain point of no return. This, it's right here. Once you go into this area here, this line right here, this looks like a wall that prevents you from going back to TKs unless you know how. So like, if you don't know how, you'd have to take the long way back, back through the tunnel and through here like this. But this point right here where we're at, you can get back. Just remember this point right here, all right? You put like a marker there, right there. You can get tuck yourself right in the corner and you can just jump spam your way up. There you go like that. You don't even need to grenade jump. You can just jump, jump spam your way back up and get back to TKs real quick. All right, so remember that. And I just remembered my detonating. Yeah, this has much better accuracy. As, yeah. Okay, so as we're pushing towards the next objective, look for the hanging moss. <laughs> Blowing them up here, boss. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, no, hold up here. Get away from me. Uh oh. If you get puke locked, as I call it, where like, you know, they're just they're constantly puking at you and you're your vision is blurred and you're put into slow motion. The best thing to do is just spray and pray. Take a weapon with the biggest biggest mag. That's it, that's 25. And just spray. I'm gonna save those guys. Go back to our jump spam corner. Jump. Jump.
Come back. Ah, that boy. You take this back. Look at the signpost. Turn to the left. Look around to the right. Look for the piss off sign. Jump over the tires. Go through the opening and that's TK's. Turn it in. And this is worth 4200 XP. Now I got a new one. 50 brains. This is worth 8,000. And then 100 brains is worth 12,000. It keeps going on, on up and up. Like I said, I have no idea how committed everyone is to this um, series of quests. I'm just going to do, let's say, we'll work on this, the next one as we push towards the objective for the first main story mission, okay? And once again, hang out. Wait for TK to <coughs> give you the reward. <laughs> See if you can keep it down this time, TK. Nope. <laughs> Maybe you should put a little mustard on. I don't know. What did we get this time? A class mod that we can't use, but it's worth 20,000 bucks. Okay, very good. Alright, so let's switch over to... House of Ned. Now this is going to involve shooting down an absolute regiment of zombies so we'll easily get enough brains to complete the next um, brains optional mission as we work our way up to this location here. And let me just offload here. I've collected some junk. Okay, hang on. Oh my gosh. There's one thing about when they mob you, eh? At least there's lots of second wind available. Oh, great, a loot coon. This guy, well, 4,000 XP. Let's see. Okay, excellent. Too exciting there. Four combines good damage, high fire rate, and recoil reduction into one lethal weapon. No, makes guns. All right, what have you got? And heavy, accurate, and effective. And Not a single pistol. Thanks a lot, game. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, to find your way around, look for the hanging moss. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel. Hold still, you little... That's <laughs> hellacious, eh? Okay. Next, we're looking for that burning barbecue thing. Okay, all clear here. Now we're looking for the jack o' lantern. There's the jack o' lantern. Here's the new U pole. There's the covered bridge. Okay, now what's going to happen is as you go through the covered bridge, a whole bunch of zombies are going to spawn behind you. So you got to work quickly as you go through the covered bridge so they don't sandwich you in here. Pretty much a turkey shoot because you got a nice beautiful choke point here, but like I said, you gotta work quickly. What, you mean like that? Suicide zombie. Uh oh. So he's biting on my ass. Okay, so now they're starting to spawn behind me. See that? See them on the map there? Let me see the count. Okay. No problem. Here's where it gets totally insane. Switch. This is a great place to camp I'll right here. I'll get the lift down, but it'll probably take a bit to hand crank the bastard all the way to you. Probably want to shoot any of those skull munchers that trottle in. Trouble to spray and pray ahead at head um head, head. And you're bound to get a lot of brains and get them all off your back. Something munching on me here. Come on, don't act like you've never had to wait on a hand crank elevator during a zombie outbreak before. Hell eh? Jeez. 
this would be a whole lot easier if you didn't, um, like I said, the brains mission. That's a commitment. That's a real commitment. Almost. I'm getting there. Keep your shirt on. Bitch, I dropped the dumb waiter. My hand just let go. <laughs> I'll get you up. Hang on. This guy just die already. Alright. Uh oh. Bleh. You like that? Okay, I'm just just short of getting a uh, the next one. Well, if I can get this thing down there to you, Three more. there's a good chance you'll make it out alive. Two more. One more. You like that? There we go, that's it. Okay, now it's just survival. Don't act all fancy and waste my time. Get on the damn thing. Okay, if you're like me and you completed the 50 brains, just leave those there because they're not going to do any good. Hopefully they'll still be there after. Actually, they won't be, because we're going to have to leave the area. I probably went about this all the wrong way. I'm a doctor. I make people better. I just wanted everyone to be okay. I made the zombies. I was never as good as my totally not made up brother Zed, and we're totally different people. I need a drink. Well, howdy there. Wait, All right, next story you mission. Want to help a decrepit old man who created an end of the world epidemic, you'll have to head to the old hospital past the graveyard near Jacob's Cove. You'll need to find a sample of an antidote I was working on. I based it on skag DNA, since they don't seem to have undead tendencies. Get the sample and bring it to my claptrap in town. Oh, almost forgot. The gate key to the hospital grounds was lost a long time ago, but there is a more spooky way in. Just look for the old gravestone on the beach that doesn't belong. Done and done. Hey, All right. Bottles of whiskey. Okay, let's just go through the junk we picked up. Don't want you, don't want you. No, thank you. Check this out, 80% sniper rifle critical hit damage. Jeez. I'm so tempted to buy that. Even if it's not, a, it doesn't apply to our pistol arrow build. Um, yeah, pass on it, <laughs> stay focused slack. <laughs> All right. Elevator down. Red chest to loot over there. And then we're going to take a run back over to TK and turn in the third brains mission. And henceforth, I'm just going to collect brains as a matter of, like, you know, 
I'm not gonna purposely try to get brains because it's it's just too it's too hectic going for headshots all the time. I'd rather aim for center mass. Oh right, I already alluded to this. Okay, well that's the normal way to get this chest coming back from Ned's. <laughs> and I went the long way. Okay, that's okay. But I do want to show where the great chest was. Yeah, right, let go, let go, let go. Yeah, I'm getting that. Get, keep locked. You like that? Okay, around the corner, find the tunnel. Out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Check the trail of zombies following me on the, on the mini map. <laughs> okay, through here, find the signpost. Go to the left, up the hill. Find the piss off sign. Over the tires. And back to TK. I got some more. There you go. Brains. And that's worth 8,000. Check this one's worth 12,000. But you have to collect 100 brains. And like I said, that's where I draw the line. Um, I will pick them up, but I'm not going to purposely try to do headshots to collect them. See if you can hold it down this time. Like I said, put a little mustard on it. Oh, here it comes. And this time he spits up. A Fang Torment. Ooh, we can actually use this. Interesting. Okay. Lock that. And that is it. Now, let's quit save. Get back to the beginning. Back at the beginning, you don't have to go all the way around. There's this shortcut that is now open. Right here. Fearless zombie killer. New missions are available at the Jacobs Cove Bounty Board. That's one thing I love about this DLC. You can get to like town really quickly from the uh, the fast travel point. Don't go falling in love with me, stranger. I've been hurt too many times. Bye, zombies. Okay, let's turn in this guy. We get a glorious machine gun. Let's turn in excellent opportunity. We get a range of glass mob, which we probably will really won't use. Take that on. And we leveled up. Put another point into killer. And that is your introduction into the zombie island of Aim Dr. Ned. Like, thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.